Good morning, class. I wanted to go over how you're going to be doing today's uh, two assignments where you're going to be making a flip chart. The first one is going to be working on something in your book. Uh, this is on page six and page seven of your book. Uh, this is looking at the characteristics of living things. In other words, if you're living, you have each of these characteristics. And uh, so part of your work today is going to be to read uh, the first chapter, which is chapter one, and uh, you'll get to learn about these things as you're reading it. Uh, but then you have to make two different flip charts. Uh, I'm gonna explain how to do the first one, which is how to do a, uh, make the flip chart for the six characteristics of living things. Um, now you'll notice too, on the page before in your workbook, there's a summary at the top here of four characteristics of living things. This is a, a brief summary and it combines a couple of the ones on the next page. So the characteristics that I actually want you to list out just because they provide a little bit better detail are these six here. So with that being said, let me show you how to get started. For this activity, you're going to need a pair of scissors and you're gonna need a piece of printer paper. You're going to cut the printer paper in half as best you can. All right. Then you're going to get your two halves, which are pretty close to equal here. Fold them in half. All right. Now you have two tenths. Okay. So you have two halves of the eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. These are eventually going to get pasted in your science notebook. So one of the sides is going to be pasted or taped. The other side is going to be cut so that you can use it as part of the flip book. Now, this always tricks people up, so make sure you follow this instruction really closely. You see there's two halves of this. You're going to try and cut it into equal thirds so that you make six even boxes. Okay? And if you notice, I'm only cutting the one side and not the other. So now I have this side that's cut, this side that's flat. This is gonna be the part that you're going to paste in your science notebook and uh, make it so that you're not uh, able to, it shouldn't be cut apart in other words. So once you get that done, um, you're going to go ahead and you can paste this into your science notebook or tape it in now, or you can wait until you complete the next part of the assignment, okay? But you're eventually going to have both sets of these in your science notebook horizontally, like what you see here. Okay? The same thing uh, that you did with the first one, you're going to do with the second. So cut three squares only on one side. You're going to make two cuts on this piece of paper. It's okay if they're a little bit different sizes. All right, so now I have three cuts on this one, or sorry, three boxes on this one and three boxes on this. There's six characteristics of living things. Now on the front of each, I'm gonna write a marker here so you can see a little bit easier. On the front of each, you're gonna write each of those characteristics. So the first one it says is cellular organization. All right, so because it, another way to say that is to say that they are made of cells. I'm gonna write made of cells on the front and then on the inside, I'm going to write a description about what that means. So if you read through this paragraph, it talks about how uh, organisms can either be single or multicelled, or uh, there's another way to say it, uni or multicellular. All right, so I'm going to write a brief description of that. And after, and I'm just doing this very briefly because you guys are gonna do this in more detail, all right? But you're going to write a one to two sentence uh, description of each of these. Okay, so the first thing is that they have cells. The second says that they're, they contain chemicals for life. So similarly, you're going to write that in the next box. Okay, and so on and so forth. So the first characteristic, they're made of cells. Second, they contain the chemicals for life. On the inside of this box, just as I started here, I didn't finish that, 
uh, you're going to write a description about what some of the chemicals for life are. All right. If you read through really closely here, they talk about some of the examples such as uh, protein, carbohydrates, fats and oils, and different type of nucleic acids. Uh, we'll talk more about these in class, um, but two different types of nucleic acids are RNA and DNA, um, which we'll, like I said, learn about. The third box is going to be for growth and development. So all living things grow and develop. The fourth box, if you want to number them, that's okay. Uh, I'm not requiring that uh, because there's not an order to these. It's just that there are six total. Uh, the fourth box is that all living things respond to their environment. The fifth box is that all living things reproduce in some way, shape, or form. And then the seventh is that all living things use energy. So each one of these needs the title on the front, and then on the inside, you're going to describe that particular characteristic of living things. So that's the first flip chart, and uh, if you have any questions, as always, make sure to send me an email.